Welcome back to Tia Gaitana. My name is Abby, and today we are going to be doing the third eye <laughs> healing video for this week. And, <sighs> and we're here again. Last week was deep, but we are here again with the third eye. Here we go. And just so we are also aware, I do have the records open right now, the Akashic records. So, just for additional messages and clarifications and such, I feel like it always helps with the additional messages, always, because there's always something else that I say that I run off on a tangent, but it makes complete sense afterwards, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> so, for this week, what is blocking our third eye this week? So far, Knight of Wands, the Hangman. I cannot see. I'm blocking my third eye this week. I'm just blocking my third eye this week. Hmm. How can we best heal our third eye this week? How can we best heal? Third eye. Okay, I'm just gonna pull one more card. Okay, that's heal. Third eye. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the page of pentacles and the sun. First two cards are the Knight of Wands and the Hangman, and we've talked about this so many times, so many times, so many times. I mean, the blockage is there because we're not actually trying to work on our third eye, and so it just, uh, the stubbornness, the stubbornness. But the, the problem is that we are, we're, the stubbornness does not help us. Why? Because of two reasons. Why? we become very much stuck and then we don't know where to go we're just like kind of lost in our heads daydreaming thinking about the thing but not actually moving on it and what happens to our hearts is that we keep stabbing it with different mental thoughts because we're self destructing ourselves with things that we shouldn't be doing because we don't know how to see because the third eye is about seeing it's about understanding. It's about having an open intuition. It's about not being lost. Why? Because your third eye, your intuition is there and you're able to clearly know where to move, clearly know what next state, step to take. If somebody could tell you that that could be like a superpower that you could have, why would you not want to have it? I just don't understand. I just don't understand. It's just like this just stubbornness with everybody. It's just like... This is too hard. This is not a tangible gift. I can't, I can't touch this gift. I can't touch this gift. So, because I can't touch, I can't, I can't hold on to, the, I can't hold on to this gift. Then you don't, for some reason, want to do the work into healing your third eye space when it can actually solve like so many of your for your actual problems. That's the sad part. This is a gift that can really, really get get you where you need to go if only you would work with it that is just kind of like the bittersweetness of it it's just really sad and it's kind of really frustrating how i kind of have to keep repeating this every week <laughs> because it's always the same thing it's like you need to do the work in order for you to actually heal this so you can be able to use this as a gift um the way that we heal this this week we have the star the queen of swords the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and then we have the Five of Swords. Lots of swords. Actually, all of this is swords. All of this. Hold on. Let me just grab all that. All of that is swords. And I say all because this is an air sign. This is a card of Aquarius. 
the air signs are the signs of the swords so swords and once again this is uranus this is crown energy once you start getting past i've said this a million times once you get past the heart space everything else is higher consciousness and what does your higher higher consciousness ask you to do for one listen listen to the messages that are coming um but hey our throat chakra is also blocked so there's that for for two be in your power by knowing that your destiny is playing out in front of you because you've listened to yourself because you're grounded in this airy energy because you're able to take yourself out in order for you to be in and this restriction really needs to get cut off this week there's a lot of like it's like no you need to take yourself away from people and do the work stop thinking about other people and do the work really say okay you know what i feel so stuck in this one thing why do i feel stuck why if you keep asking yourself the same question about the same situation congratulations the answer is you need to pull yourself out of the situation and come back to yourself come back to your power come back to your strength come back to your words come back to your mind reconnect with your higher self reconnect to your higher consciousness in order for you to find the right solution for you you know the answer to your problem and a lot of times you block your intuition by not accepting it it'll be the first voice you hear and for some reason that won't be it for you that you just won't you don't want to take it in you don't want to accept it you don't you don't it's like a stubbornness <laughs> it's just a stubbornness um and it's not serving you this is a stubbornness this is a habit this is a stagnation that is not serving you um and so when you have this level of carelessness with yourself what happens You don't get what you want. I said in one of the earlier readings, you can manifest out of frustration, but it won't, the outcome won't feel good to you after you get it. You can manifest from frustration and be so angry and be like, oh my God, I just need a break. I just need to change this up. I just need something different. I just need to feel better. I just need this to stop being this to me. I just need the situation to shift i can't keep doing the same thing i can't keep doing this if you literally are stuck in this loop where you're constantly telling yourself the same exact thing over and over again i can't keep doing this i get why does this hurt why does this feel bad why can't i shake this energy why can't i shake this situation why can't i come out of this why can't oh i don't know why can't you come out of it though oh i don't know why can't you come out of it though maybe because you're still so lost in the situation that all you can think about is bitching about the situation if you stopped bitching about the situation and actually did something about the situation maybe you would be out of the situation i mean listen it, it's it's to a certain point where it's hard because it's hard for me to feel sorry for someone that does this but I understand that a lot of people do this. But again, it's so hard for me to feel sorry for somebody that does this because it's like, this is a very repetitive nature, the stubbornness, the stagnation that you put yourself in. It's not helpful. And it's like the reason why I have no mercy from like, I'm not the reason why I can't sit here and be like, you know what, I'm going to justify your, your, you know what, I, I understand why you're so stubborn, why you don't want to change this about yourself, why don't you want to accept the truth about the situation, why don't you want to shift the situation to something that can actually better you, I, 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 you know what, I'm going to give you a break and actually say, you know what, that person's going through a lot, let me not, let me not, you know, be so hard-handed with how, I am taking your actions and how you treat yourself and how you get lost in these thoughts that don't help you. How you literally stab yourself over and over again with these swords because you don't know how to take back your power. You want to know why I don't feel bad for you? You want to know why I don't feel bad for you for, because you're doing this to yourself? Because I am Saturn's child 
and one of the things I value more than anything is time 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 I am ruled by the planet of time and you think that I'm gonna sit here and be like and, and yes I understand that everybody has their own time and everybody take but when you take two years to process one thing when you know that situation wasn't good for you this person wasn't good for you this relationship wasn't good for you that whatever the case may get this job wasn't good for you the, the place that you were in was toxic your friends around you were toxic this person that you constantly keep in your life is toxic when you know this person is toxic yet you still keep them in your life and you still expect me to feel bad for you i'm just like i'm sorry where because last time I checked, I was ruled by the planet of time. And it seems to me like you are wasting your time. So why are you wasting your time? And at the same time, why are you wanting me to feel bad for you for wasting your time? How does that make sense to anybody? It goes, down, it goes back down to logic. How does this card make sense to anybody? This is a card of... It, and it's kind of hilarious to me how it's always in the sword suit. This is not in the cup suit because this is not a heartbreak, people. The Three of Swords is not a heartbreak. It is a mental, mental, you're mentally stabbing your own heart because why? Because why? Because why? Why are you stabbing your heart space? Why does that seem like it's a good idea for you to do? What the hell are you going to get out of doing this? I just don't understand. And then I'm supposed to sit here and be like, you know... Like, if these readings were just, like, done by somebody else who just wanted to do, to filter everything to a love and light situation, it would just be like, no, you need to love yourself enough. But the see, the, the, what to happen was that I'm still ruled by Saturn. And so when I see somebody else wasting their time, it really irritates me. And it really lets me know that you're not you don't value your time so i guess i don't really have to put that much time into you either because this is not, not something that means something to you and this is why people have mental breakdowns later i'm gonna repeat this midlife crisis are because y'all didn't handle your time right before you had the time at the time to handle your shit but you didn't handle it so now halfway through your life you are going to sit here and have a midlife crisis why because now you're living in mental regret and you wish you were stronger and you wish you would have taken the opportunity and you wish you would have told that person that you love them and you wish you would have cut this person off in your life and you wish you would all these wishing wish 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 would and i'm supposed to feel sorry for you you see people think saturn is very harsh but it's really just like it's like you're trying to sell something to somebody that doesn't make sense like you're you're selling a product that doesn't even work doesn't make sense it's not going to help them in life it's not going to help it's like you're trying to literally like but no but this is why this works and then saturn is just like it looks like a waste of time to me you know you could have done like five million other things while you were trying to build that piece of shit <laughs> meanwhile here we are and it's harsh and it's very harsh saturn is very very harsh because he's that father energy he's and that's where that's coming from for me like that always is just like i'm like what the, what, the, what 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 like i can be such a loving person but at the same time i'm like yeah but you waste my time yo easiest way to piss off a capricorn is to waste your time i am so serious the easiest way to piss off a capricorn is to waste your time Do, do you have any idea how much we value time even unconsciously speaking like a capricorn doesn't have to be like conscious of the fact of how important time is to them in order for it to be important we naturally flow with that and so the easiest way to piss us off is when somebody wastes our time so when we see somebody else wasting theirs it's just like oh no oh no that is not how we do things in this side of the world this is not this is not no mm -mm. when i go through my I'm not going to go through a midlife crisis. I already know I'm not going to go through one because I would have enjoyed my, the hell out of my life already. And that's kind of the point. That's the point. It's like when you get stuck in the societal form of how to do something, how to, um, 
how things need to be done how your life is supposed to be mapped out this whole nine to five till you die bullshit when you get stuck in that mentality and then you have your damn midlife crisis you need to understand that you kind of allowed this to happen to you nobody forced you to be in the situation you could have taken the steps to actually do stuff for yourself in order for you to actually feel good later but instead it becomes mental agony and you get lost in the source of your own brain and neptune basically just fuels you in your imagination into staying stuck in this place where it just it, it almost it feels better doing something about it in your head than actually doing something about it it in your in, in the physical realm and the, the the easiest way for me to explain this is people who watch porn in order to have sexual satisfaction instead of actually putting the work with themselves they'll watch porn to get off faster and so that's kind of what this is neptune will keep you like that like that instant gratification of oh my god i i i, I kind of solved this i I you know what in my head this is how it looks like in my head this is how we look like in my head this is the way I, I see my life as instead of putting in the work to see it in the physical realm it's instant gratification in here and then there comes a time in your life where you feel so tired of doing it in here you grow out of that water and you come up for air and what do you find when you come up for air nothing that you wanted is there why because you didn't put the work into it you didn't move on it in the physical realm so it cannot manifest in the physical realm you didn't take the steps to move on your intention therefore it comes to nothing it comes to shit and it's like What are you gonna do when your destiny is shaped up up to the like crisis that you're just gonna <laughs> end up beating up your, yourself about mentally? Because that's what it is. It's a fight of your mind. It turns into a fight of your mind. It's like you're just looking back at all the damn shit you did that you wish you shouldn't have done, and you felt so restricted supposedly because you still have the power but whatever you felt so restricted but you didn't move on a thing and you could have been in love with somebody you could have been whatever the case may be i've always said this since i was in junior high school every time i've ever had like a crush on somebody or whatever i would always tell them there has never been a person in my life and i know this has to do with the fact that i wounded my venus in one of my past lives but there has never been a person in my life that i've fallen for that has told me how they felt before I told them. Why? Because I do not have the patience to self-torture myself. I have always said this. I do not have the patience to self-torture myself. I do not have the patience to self-torture myself. I am not going to sit here and mentally self-torture like, oh my god, they're so cute. Oh my god, but I'm not what but it's like the way Capricorns are, and this is also my Venus and Aquarius, by the way. The way Capricorns are is that like we be like, okay, here's this we get presented with a problem with the issue right and in this case the issue is i have a crush on this person right so after we done realized that we had this crush on this person a cardinal sign will look at this thing and would be like i so i gotta do something about this so what am i gonna do about it so it goes into the processing of what are we gonna do about this feeling some of the fixed signs would just be like stuck on the feeling some of the, the mutable signs will swim around the feeling some will act on the feeling but the carnal signs are like, I, well, I feel this, this is, it seems to be a fact that I feel, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to have to do something, what am I going to do, either keep it inside, I don't know, maybe I want to stay friends, maybe I'll, I'll mess this up on the long term, maybe, I don't know, maybe I should just leave it alone, but we'll make a decision, but ultimately, there's either the, okay, you know what, we're either going to move on this or we're not. And this is why we're not and we're accepting the reasons why we're not or we're gonna move on this and moving on this is not about gaining something except for peace of mind because the carnal signs are about goals so as a capricorn i guess this is weird to say that when i like someone that's technically a goal but technically that's what they become they become a goal i'm just like you're cute so what you want me to do about it like nobody told you to be cute that's your that's the, mm, that's your fault or my fault for finding you cute whatever i don't care but that's what it is and so when you already have that when i've already had that realization i'm like okay well i already realized that this person is cute so i'm all 
I'm obviously emotionally bothered. So <laughs> what's am I going to do about it? And then it turns into, okay, well, I'm just going to tell them because I'm not going to sit here and be like sulking in my feelings and watch them walk by me and self-torturing me all the time. So I'm just going to say, say be like, by the way, hey, you're cute. I'm just saying you're cute. I'm not trying to get anything from you, but I just think you're cute. And I just thought you should know. So I'm just excited. And literally every single person that I've dated or like have been in a relationship with I've always been the first one to say x y and z it was always me it was always me because I'm very much oh god the self-torturing business does not work with me it just doesn't like I just want it out of my out of here like once it's out of here and it's out of here like I'm just like I already put it out in the universe they already know how I feel so I can just move on in my life so if I need to like get over it, I can like it's I already said what needed to be said how many people sit around and just think about telling the person that they care about that they care about that person but they never say it how many person how many how many people think about that people literally go the whole there's so many movies on this shit and meanwhile while i'm seeing those movies i'm like yo can one of y'all grow some balls please or some ovaries because i would have already done this shit at the beginning of the movie like what the fuck it just is y'all taking too much time of my life to be doing this right now I don't have the time. I'm like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to sit at home and be like, oh my god, but they were so cute. Oh my god, but that thing that they said was so interesting. I wish I could talk to them about it. I wish like they would know this really cool thing that I noticed that they do. Like I would. I don't want to think. I don't want to do that. Mind you, there's a part portion of me that's still gonna think about it, but it's not gonna be as excessive because I already did the work. You know what I'm saying? And the work would be to release that into the damn universe. If there's something that my soul is attracted to you about. And I'm just going to tell you and be like, hey, you know, I just think you're cool. I just think you're cute. I just think you're interesting. I think you have an interesting mind. I, I, it's not always about like, I'm not trying to get people in, in bed. Like, that's not how I let people know how I feel about them. I just very much like, hey, you know, I just think you're really cool. Or like, you know, we have really cool conversations and I really like, I really appreciate that. I really like that about you. Like, I just think you're re really deep or what, whatever it is. And it just it's always worked for me ever since I, I not that i'm trying to say like oh this is how i get that i'm not trying to say it in that way what i'm saying as far as it's always worked for me i f i feel like for me it makes me feel the best because i don't feel emotionally stressed i don't feel like i'm dying and emotionally just like blading up and mentally doing this like i don't feel like i'm doing that because i already said what needed to be said i'm just like okay well you know i told them so i move forward if, it, if they don't like me they don't like me and we could stay friends or whatever i don't care <laughs> i don't care about that aspect and i feel like a lot of people get hung up on that because when they like someone they automatic automatically want something from them when i like someone i just want you to know you're cute that's it i just need you to know that because it's been tor tor torturing me since i saw your ass that's pretty much what <laughs> that's, <t> <laughs> that's pretty much how that works here but it doesn't work because I also realize that not everybody's gonna be into me either you know what I'm saying like I'm not that self like oh I don't want to tell them because what if they don't like me back it's not all about you boo like in this situation it kind of is because you're the one feeling all these emotions but it's not all about you if they don't like you back okay now you don't have to feel self tortured about that you see how it all like yo <sighs> like this is what I'm saying it's like there's people that fall in love with like the, the, the person like that from junior high school they'll still be in love with the one girl she probably doesn't even remember you or whatever the case may be but they'll still be hung up on the way that they looked at them from that time and it's just like you know had you just said something you could have been free of that and it's really interesting how communication just clears up a lot of these little things that we turn into traumas because these are things these are thoughts that we turn into traumas we turn this into traumas and it's like why are we doing this why is this a thing that we do as a society like people just are so accustomed to doing this and i get that some signs are not as like bold as some are i i, I get it i get that i'm a very bold person leo rising but it there's still Listen, the same way you go to apply to a job interview because you know you need money, you know you need to pay the bills, you know you need to, you need to take care of your emotional health. And sometimes the way you handle your emotional health is by doing the thing that your heart wants you to do. 
it doesn't have to be complicated it does not and it's like listen when it comes to the third eye a lot of the time the reason why it gets blocked is because of this it's because of the stubbornness thing because we're unwilling to first get grounded and then actually work this high this high up because everybody's worried, worried about the heart chakra everybody wants to be in love and everybody wants money so the root chakra and the heart chakra are like everybody's favorite things in the universe but then they don't work on the other ones they don't work on their sense of will so they don't have power they don't work on the their sacral space so they have all these traumas they don't work on their throat chakra so they can't speak anything to ex existence and they can't see where they're going because the third eye is blocked and a lot of the time it's like you already know the information you're just refusing to see it as the message that you need so this week there's going to be a part of this week where mentally we will have to come to terms with how we've been restricting ourselves in a situation with how we've been kind of wounding ourselves and how that's going to play off in the largest scale how this is going to be a wound that will be revisited whether it's in this lifetime or a different one it will be re revisited because this is the destiny card so this is focusing on your soul's destiny whether it's in this lifetime or a different one and why i don't know maybe because you're not grounded and you're not happy and you're not grounded or happy or you're just not happy because you're not doing what you wanted to do to do you have these seeds that will make you happy that you're just not planting and so what happens when you have that blockage is that nothing moves nothing grows nothing grows in a land that there is no seeds planted eventually weeds and stuff will grow but that's out of the earth's natural way not because you planted something that was going to feed you something later and so it becomes a blockage. So here we are again. Blocked. So for the third eye, we're going to be using the Isis Oracle cards. Again, because I really love this deck. Um, I'm going to use the mini ones again because I just... The, the other one is sitting right next to me, but like, it's at the bottom of all of my other decks. And I just don't feel like sorting all that right now. So there's that that so third eye message for this week what is that third eye let me okay okay Woo. oh awesome oh wow of course that happened um <laughs> The first card that came out was the Lunar Queen. There we go. The Lunar Queen. There is a deep feminine wisdom that recognizes the importance of cycles, rest, and replenishment as essential to balance our actions of power and demonstration. You are asked to allow this replenishment for yourself now, trusting that you are in a cycle of creation that is about to shift into a new phase. Release and enjoy the process without having to control or force it. I'd be mad at y'all. That's all I'm gonna say. Y'all got me mad. Okay, then we have Divine Sisterhood. Letting the Divine Feminine nourish you now into new relationship collaborations, communities, and friendships is very wise. There are many souls with whom you have spiritual contracts decided upon before you were born who wish to help you and whom you can help too as you grow together in peace and light and wisdom. This is interesting because a lot of people don't understand anything about their soul contract and so when you are interconnected with a specific person and a specific person is having such a big presence in your life there's reasons and when it doesn't really get sorted out properly this is what happens so okay and then the last one is soul retrieval isis healing goddess now offers you a spiritual restoration of and deep soul healing through the art of soul retrieval reclaiming the pieces of you lost through trauma old and new soon you will enjoy greater greater wellness energy and power so be willing to go through the healing process knowing that any emotional clearing taking place is leading you to wholeness i kept saying the akashic records was going to come up and they did so if the way you need to heal the situation in order for you to open your third eye 
is through the records open the records if it's through speaking your truth or accepting your truth or saying whatever it is you need to say to, to a person sp speak to that person if it is something that you need to release release that but there's healing that needs to be had in this in this space because there's a, definitely a connection here there's a divine connection here that is bringing about a that's what this is there's a divine connection that's bringing about this healing but if you don't see it if you can't even see that this is supposed to be healing you this trauma is supposed to be healed this person is there in order to pick that wound so you can heal it if you can't even see that you're gonna get stuck there so do the work i know that's what i say every week for this chakra but this is it's a lot of deep work it's not a lot of deep healing it doesn't it's not always gonna feel good but it'll feel good afterwards and that's what you need to trust in yourself that's it okay so i will see you guys in the crown video <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and um all my links and stuff will be down below bye